Okay, we ordered the 142 piece survival set and it came in this. In the picture, it kind of looked like a backpack and this is the size. It even had these little straps. I was like, is this a fanny pack? But obviously it's to hook it on to your backpack when you go wilderness camping. But I'm gonna see if there really is uh, 142 things in here and if they are decent qualities. So we'll see, but this is tiny. Okay. This is like 142 Christmas presents, right? Hang on. Ah, look at how cute. It is a shovel that even gets longer. All right, already I think I'm, this might be cool. A warm little blanket, some fishing line and lures, a whole bunch of first aid stuff, bandages, gauze, safety pins, tape, so that's probably a lot of my 142 items. This, I'm not an outdoor enthusiast. Oh, take a look at this. That's pretty cool. Oh, dude, look. Right on your ax. That's pretty cool right there. You know, because, oh, it's a saw. In case you have to cut down a tree. Er, er, er. <laughs> Ooh, a bigger saw. Cut down a bigger tree. In the case you need to open a bottle. Oh, and it's a hammer. And an axe. Okay, this is cool. I got this for my son-in-law for Christmas. But maybe I want one. For all the camping I don't do. A juice pop? Actually, I think this is a glow stick. A carabiner? Some jewelry to satisfy the headhunter's wife so that they don't kill you? I don't know what it is. But I'm going to open it so you enthusiast. enthusiastic campers will know. Dude, it's exactly what I said. I think it actually, it opens up. I think it's a line to hang your clothes on. Or you can woo the savages. I mean like the people that want to kill you in the woods. They act, that's a savage act. That part will probably get cut out when I look up savage and see if it's going to get me canceled. Next, another knife. That other thing wasn't a knife. This is a knife. Remember that show? Only maybe if you grew up in the 80s. Dude, that could skin a fish or knife an intruder. Or an intruder could be knifing through your tent to get to you with this. So just be careful if they have one of these kits too on their fanny pack rope another juice pop a little wallet to pay the savages to pay the people that are going to murder you not a wallet a multi-purpose pocket tool even a saw blade Ooh, one more way to cut down the tree a lock of hair from your grandmother's nope this is probably something you like to get your fire started. Hmm, what is this? This thing that's very helpful if you want to survive in the wilderness. There's a ruler on it, so you can say, yeah, the fish I caught was 13 inches. If you don't believe me, I use my ruler and this stick. <laughs> I don't know what that thing is. But if you're watching this video, you probably are a camping enthusiast or a survival enthusiast. Maybe you just 
did something terrible and you're planning on hiding out in the woods for months, this thing might be the thing you need. <gasps> a whistle! You can either whistle a little tune if you're bored or <laughs> if said murderers come. <laughs> oh, that is pretty nice. That's loud. Help me, help me. I'm so bored. Help me. The bears, they smell the menstruation. This, it's not beef jerky. That would be a good thing to put in a wilderness kit, some beef jerky. But you might be hungry by this, by the time you whip this thing out. You are no longer somewhere where you can just run to a Burger King. Okay, wow. Here's an interesting thing for you. It has a compass on it. It is a bracelet. Oh my goodness. It is a bracelet with a compass. So you can either wear this around. Oh, you're like, you're the husband. We're going north, 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 north on your nice watch. Unless you sold it to get your wife back. But if you didn't, and she's like, I'm telling you it's south. And you're like, north, north, north. I'm telling you we need to go south. North, north. And then you go all the way north and she was actually right. So don't kill her, don't kill the nagging with your any of your tools because in the end she's gonna be right. Another piece of grandma's hair. Another piece of grandma's hair. <clears throat> a spoon on a rope. This is handy in case you're eating ice cream and you always drop your spoon and your wife's like, stop dropping your spoon all the time. And you're like, I don't know what to do. And then she pulls this out and she's like, you can tie it right on this string. That'll work out for you. And then you don't lose your spoon or spork. Actually, they might have stolen this idea from the Taco Bell. You got a spork with a rope. That is going to come in handy. You know why? Because when you're at this point in wilderness survival, you're probably just running from bears. And so you have this thing on as a fanny pack. You ditched your backpack long ago. And you've just got this fanny pack on. You've got your watch on so you can run and still see what direction you go. Your spoon is on a string like, I got to eat on the run. Um, I'm busy now surviving. It's a flashlight. Yep, battery needed. I wonder if there's matches in there with the Q-tips. And a Velcro black and white American flag. Dude, we come in peace. I actually think that this might also repel bears. They're like, oh, She's a patriot. Kind of weird black and white patriot, but I still, I don't like the taste of patriots. All right, I'm gonna open this because as much as I wanna clean my ears, I also wanna start a fire with my grandmother's hair. And if there aren't any matches, but if you are into wilderness survival, I bet you that you know, like a trick to like put two rocks together right by this and then it'll catch on fire because who would use a match like a sucker if you can just put two rocks together? I doubt there's matches in the first aid kit. But I'm going to show you all the pieces. In case your ears get really dirty, you're going to cut your legs on so many things. You're running for your life through the wilderness. You can prep for half of those scratches. When you accidentally sit on that cactus, your lovely wife who's telling you where to go. Deet, deet, deet. She can pull them all out. A bandage with some safety pins. Scissors that probably won't even cut through the gauze because you have way sharper things in those multi-tools. Gauze and more safety pins and those two things that are more tape. Okay, well, Make sure you put some batteries and matches. That was an awful lot of stuff in that tiny little kit and I actually think it was probably really great. I got it for my son-in-law for Christmas, but I might get one to put in my car in case 
some psycho like knocks me off the side of the road and then I can hurry and get that pack out and run through the woods for my life. So I think I'm gonna get another one. Hmm. All right, I need to amend my statement. I really do think this is probably Flint. <gasps> that's what this is like. I bet you that's what that is. Start a fire with this. I'm gonna throw matches in mine because I probably am not good at this, but other people. Wilderness Survival, guys, they know how to use it. It's actually fully amazing that all of this stuff is in this little pack. Pretty cool. Ding!